Ciao. Today I'm going to be making fettuccine alfredo from scratch. This is my lovely grandmother. Ciao. Who is, who is letting me borrow her kitchen. So alfredo as we know it in America is actually not the authentic Italian way to make it. The authentic Italian way is without cream. It's only with parmesan and butter and a little bit of the pasta water. So it started off with Alfredo De Lelo making it for his pregnant wife who could not eat anything else. He just took regular fettuccine and butter and just sprinkled some cheese on it and it became a hit. It was like peanut butter and chocolate, like two combinations that just came together and everyone loved it. So he served it at his restaurant, movie stars loved it, they took it back to the States. What happened for it to become Americanized was that America did not have the same quality cheese and um, butter as Italy had at that time. So when Americans would try to make it in the 1940s... I meant to say the dish was actually created in 1914 and in 1920 is when he served it at his restaurant. It wouldn't come out as rich and as creamy as they wanted, so they added cream to it and that's how it became the American version of fettuccine alfredo. So today we're going to be making the true Italian version of it. So our ingredients for this dish are fettuccine, uh, parmigiano reggiano, and unsalted butter. I will be making my own fettuccine for this dish, so that's the first thing we're gonna start on. So for our next step, we're going to be adding all our ingredients into a mixing bowl of a stand-up mixer with a kneading tool on it for the dough. So this is two and a half cups of semolina flour. They say you can also use all-purpose flour. They just say semolina is better, but you know, you get what you can get. We're gonna be putting a tablespoon of olive oil We're going to be doing a teaspoon of sea salt, but we're going to eyeball that. So. It's probably not good. And then we need four large room temperature eggs. Cracking skills. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. I don't think this, never mind. I give up. That was a mess. I tried. And then but we're going to be turning our mixer on 10 minutes. So, we'll put it on low speed. Guys, I can't cook, I'm learning. <laughs> so yeah, we do this for 10 minutes, so we'll come back in 10 minutes. So <gasps> our dough has, <laughs> we have a friend. So, come here Casey, you want to have cook? So since the dough has been kneading for the 10 minutes, we're going to take it out, wrap it in a ball, and let it sit for half an hour in the saran wrap. And while that's just sitting and kind of, you know, growing, we're going to grate our cheese. So as I grate my half a pound of Parmesan, it's going to take a little bit, um, i just like to answer some of the questions. So why did I pick this meal? I have always loved fettuccine alfredo, like with a passion. I love it. It's one of my favorite meals. You know, my mom's always made it. It's what I get at restaurants. I'm actually vegetarian. So it's kind of one of my go-tos when I go to like a fancy restaurant or something and I want a pasta dish. And I usually make it uh, with peas in it. It's very yummy, I'm just, that's my favorite vegetable. So, you know, it's nice to include that. So I did have to go and buy a couple ingredients for this dish. We do have some Parmesan at my house, but you know, it's not the, the good stuff. We don't, we don't buy expensive food here. But, um, so yeah, I got the real stuff, you know, so we could give it full effect. Um, I could have used all-purpose flour, like I said before, but I did want, like I said, to give this the full try out. So I got the semolina flour. It wasn't in the regular flour aisle, it was actually in the all-natural aisle, which I was a little surprised about. I did not have unsalted butter, which you do need. I only had salted, so I had to get that. So quite a, you know, a couple things, but nothing crazy. It was like 10 bucks maybe, which is a pretty cheap meal for something that's like this filling and serves enough people. So yeah, I did go grocery shopping, but it didn't take forever. Um, making this dish is not that hard. I have made the Alfredo sauce before, and it's not a super different recipe than what I usually do. The pasta making, the only thing I have to say was I'm not sure exactly how the dough was supposed to look because I've never made it before, and I didn't have a guide or anything, so I'm hoping it came out correctly. It did give some descriptive wording. So I'm hoping that came out good, but besides that, it wasn't super hard. I thought pasta like making pasta was gonna be a lot more involved than it actually was. I thought I'd need a pasta maker, but as you'll see in like the next forthcoming, the steps actually aren't that involved. 
So the Alfredo recipe I got was from Curious Cuisineer. And then the uh, pasta recipe I got was you can make it by food processor, by hand, or by stand mixer. And that was from Gimme More Oven. And I will link those link those in the, in the description. <laughs> so basically what I'm doing here is I took our kneaded dough out from setting and I cut it into four equal sections. And now I'm just kneading it into an oval flat disc. <laughs> I just rolled it out so it was as flat as you can when you pick it up you can almost barely see through it <coughs> so now I'm just taking the dough that I have here and cutting it into four or five inch sections and then I'm gonna loosely roll the sections so out of that loose roll you just cut down crosses so you get all these little strips you just unroll it see and you get them all together and then you just kind of swirl them into a little nest and let them dry for about 15 20 minutes these are the little nests we made. We're still forming them, but this is how they're coming out. Turn the water on and we're waiting for it to boil. And while it's boiled, the pasta is drying. Next, I'm just gonna melt the 12 tablespoons of butter while we're waiting for that to boil. And then it's just gonna sit in the saucepan. We are now going to start putting the pasta in. Oh, where's the salt the water? Oh yeah, it's salty. Hold on. That's enough. Here, you put the rest of these in. I'm now just scooping the pasta, the done pasta with a ladle, because we're going to need some of this leftover uh, pasta sauce into the saucepan with the butter. I'm now just adding a ladle of pasta water and a scoop of the cheese, and I'm just gonna continue doing that until I have all the cheese melted and good. Ready? Here's how it came out. We're gonna go and serve it and let you know how it is. Very good. Very good? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. I recommend it. It's delicious. Grandma's very good. good. It's very mm. delicious, okay? Really good. Let's try a taste test. Now what's the water do? Make it more sauce? Yes, it works as like, they don't use cream. There's no mm. cream in it, but it, it tastes like regular creamy. Mm. Very tasty. Very yummy. <laughs> takes, takes them home to mat. I would make again if I had a pasta making machine. Yeah. Because kneading that dough was really annoying. 